Aztecs, leading enterprise telecom brand. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming. Um, welcome uh, to all of you once again. Uh, good afternoon, good evening from India. So today, actually, we have 300 plus participants registered across 20 plus countries. We already have 100 plus uh, live participants in this session. Um, yeah, so uh, as Firdoshi has given, you know, in the welcome note, we will be going to speak about call center tips and tricks for you and your customers. So there is a very particular reason why we have selected uh, this particular topic. Here, actually, what we are going to do is that we are we are going to uh, uh, talk about a set of contact center features, uh, which you people might be knowing it or may not be knowing it. So the reason why we have come up with uh, this topic is that when we uh, talk to our call center customers or generally any call centers, right? The contact center solution has got uh, the set of features. But the, but the thing is that many of these call centers are not using more than 20 to 30% of feature set that is available with the call center solution, right? That is a, we have so many live examples they have our beautiful call center solution installed, but they are actually exploring only 20 to 30 percent of that product or features which is available with that call center, which means they are not using 70 percent. So if they can use a lot of other useful features very effectively, then of course these companies can you know, gain more from this application. So keeping in that that in mind, we wanted to take you through a set of you know, 15 to 20 features, right? Which is some features are very common. When, when we explain this, you might be knowing it already, but some features will be very new to you people. Maybe some features will be, you know, you know it, but now you get to know that, okay, it can be used in different way as well. Okay, these are the few names of the features which we will be covering. Let me not uh, read entire thing and waste the time because we will be uh, discussing this individual features in our next uh, slides. So we move on. Okay. So the main objective of bringing up with this to educate our partners, these are the set of new features which is available and you can use it at your disposal without any additional charges. Okay. So let me, let me start with the first feature that is audio soundboard for agents. Okay. So before we explain uh, this feature, let me ask a quick question to you all. How many of you, those who are there in this webinar, are aware of this particular feature or heard of this feature called soundboard for agents, audio soundboard for agents? If you know, the, if, if you have heard, please type yes in the comment box. If you have not heard a first time hearing, no. Okay, can you please do this exercise first? If you, if you, if you know this feature or heard this feature, please comment yes in the comment box. If you first time hearing, please comment no. Okay, so I am getting messages, messages, no, 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 no. Okay, Deepak, no, uh, Davis, no, okay, okay. Any yes, any yes. Everybody is no, 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 okay. Rajendra, yes, very good, very good. Okay, so I have some 60, 70 answers. I should say 98% is no, okay, host. Achha. Okay, so I think apart from people joining from uh, within the organization, everybody is a no, so I should say, this particular feature, one minute, let me just share the screen again. Um, this particular feature, which uh, I am discussing is uh, audio soundboard for agents. Almost 99% participants are not aware of this feature. There is nothing wrong with it. This is a relatively new feature, but it is available with our product. That is the important thing. So let me explain what is soundboard, okay? Audio soundboard for agents. So you can see this screenshot. Let me just go. Okay. Let me explain. Then I will, uh, uh, you know, explain it where it is used and how it can be used. So audio soundboard simply means allows agents to play selected audio recordings to customers. Allow agents to play selected audio recordings to customers. Okay. It simply means you can record a set of voice messages or voice files. And you have, if you if you are familiar with our call center solution, our call center solution has got a script a script option, right? You can see in the, in, the, in the screen, there is a script. So the script, main purpose of the script is to assist the agents to, you know, talk to the customer. You know, the script will have a script uh, written by the uh, uh, process team and the agents will just read out. So instead of reading out those scripts, now this script can be in a form of audio files. 
right? For example, somebody is calling Aztec. So the call is landed to me. I can I can just click welcome message. So the welcome message audio file will be played to the customer. Okay. The next based on so I am hearing what customer is talking. Based on that again I can uh, select the next audio files. Okay. So if you if you go ahead you can see this screen. This is little more elaborated uh, audio sound soundboard screen where you can see the greeting how may I help you right this is the audio message okay it's not that agent is speaking you can just click the audio message related to that will be played upon hearing the customer okay I can help you with that I am sorry I could not repeat that okay I will transfer you to your support group so could you tell me your phone number so normally what happens you know uh, when you call somebody they will ask a lot of lot of information can you give your mobile number can you uh, tell your bank account number so nowadays with this audio soundboard, the customer, the agent may not have to ask customer these questions, right? Instead, they can just click and play the audio messages. So now you may be thinking how useful this feature is because anyway, live agent is sitting in front of the uh, system and talking to the customer. So this feature is mainly used to bring a uniformity. For example, uh, this is very useful in communicating legal or contractual disclaimers. For example, if it is a financial product, uh, which has got a very detailed you know, legal contractual disclaimers. And if you give it to the agents to buy heart it and tell, there can be human errors, right? There can be omissions, there can be exceptions, there can be you know, uh, delays, multiple things can happen. We cannot ensure the uniformity. So if we have a, you know, the terms and condition audio files and when the time comes to announce the, the, the terms and conditions, he just clicks uh, he just clicks on the, uh, the on those audio files and it, it automatically plays. So you bring the uniformity. It also helps agents to overcome language barriers. For example, you know, something has to be announced in a different language, right? So then you have the, that language voice files. You can just click and it will get announced to the customer. So this will help agents to overcome the language barriers. So then it also allows easy and speedy customer interaction. So now we have call centers running, right? Uh, running uh, with our call center completely automated with this particular audio soundboard, right? The audio soundboard. So for example, let us take an example of a, 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 a burger uh, you know, uh, center, right? The customer calls and books the burger. There the process is always set. A customer calls, welcome message, then burger menu will be played then uh, we select the burger then see everything can be of course to take order there will be an agent sitting but he need not at all talk to the customer he can just play click and play this audio messages and complete the entire customer interaction i hope what i'm trying to explain the audio soundboard is clear to you all um, so this feature is a very useful feature which can be used in combination with agent ivr and the audio you know soundboards um, if your customers are not are not already using this feature, please um, you know uh, instruct them, advise them to start using it. This will not have any additional cost. You can just you now configure it and start using it. Okay. Um, thank you so much. We go to the next feature. So the next feature is predictive dialing, right? So let me ask you here because here the answer will be different but still to keep us engaged let me ask a question here so how many people have heard of predictive dialing in your you know association with us or you may be having a call center if you know yes the predictive dialing say yes if you have not heard say no let me see what will be the answer please please give your comment okay so here it the, it is just opposite i can see yes 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 anand krishna punam yes i think a few people are Madhu, no, okay, good, good, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let me share the screen again. Here we have a scenario where almost 90% participants are aware of about what is predictive dialing. Okay, that's very clear. We are also know you people, many of our participants might be aware of what is predictive dialing, but there is a purpose why we are discussing this today. The main purpose is that how many of you know that the predictive dialing can improve your business or increase your business up to 300%, up to 300%. So keep this figure in, in your mind, 300%.
So I can I will take you through a math or a calculation how actually a business process is running and how they can achieve 300 percent growth by simply properly using predictive dialing in the right way, right? Properly using the predictive dialing. So let me explain that first. So everybody is aware of predictive dialing, but for the sake of understanding, the predictive dialing simply means you have a set of numbers. You upload those set of numbers. It can be 20,000 numbers, for example, and you have set of agents. You set a ratio. Ratio means for one agent, this many numbers to be dialed. So for example, you have 10 agents. You put a ratio one is to two. That means for 10 agents, 20 numbers will be dialed. So the system will automatically dial, right? These numbers and only once the customer answers, those call will be thrown to the agent. That is the difference. The system will do the dialing. Once customer answers, those call will be routed to the agent. So the agent's job is to keep attending the live calls. See, what is the biggest challenge in a call center or what a call center manager wanted to achieve? That means, means his agent has to be always engaged with the customer because in call center, you dial more, connect more, you achieve more, right? The more you talk to customers, the more sales you can do, right? The more business you can do. That's why the predictive dialing is very, very important in case of an outbound call center or a sales process or a collection process or a survey process, wherever you wanted to establish contacts. Okay, now the graphical diagram, if you can see my cursor, okay, uh, there is a graphical representation, manual dialing versus predictive dialing. It simply sh shows you in a manual dialing scenario, why we are telling is this, many of our call centers, or not our call centers, those who are using our dialer, but many of the call centers out there in the market are still using manual dialing in all the countries, right? They just do manual dialing, right, to reach the customer. But by doing a manual dialing, actually you are wasting almost, if you take a one hour window, you will be wasting 45 minutes. And actual talk time for you will be only 15 minutes, right? So why 45 minutes are wasted, right? You, you find out the number, you dial the number, you wait for ring. Once it is ringing, nobody will answer or number will be busy, switched off, not in service, or even if customer answers, is I'm not interested and hangs up right so you waste a lot of time in the process and actually you get just 15 minutes that is that is in a lavish scenario you get 15 minutes to talk to the customer in a one hour time window so you waste your 45 you know uh, 45 percent of your time okay 45 minutes right but just see the predictive dialing it has just becomes the reverse right in predictive dialing you will be able to talk to the customer 48 minutes and you will have just a dead time or a wait time is just 12 minutes. This 12 minutes is wastage is because you may wait between two calls or you may take a small break. But in predictive dialing, predominantly the system is dialing and connecting you the call. So the agent's job is to attend one call, end the call, go to the next call. The next call will be waiting. So that is how intelligent is the system. I hope the predictive dialing is clear to you. Many of you people are already aware. So now let me show you through a calculation how you can achieve this 300% business growth, okay? 300% is a business growth. I'm not just telling it for the sake of uh, telling because these are our studies with our customers, those who are using, those who are migrated from a manual dialing to the predictive dialing, okay? They may be using the traditional method after implementing our solution. These are the feedback. So I have given these figures are, I have not put a, a, a currency value. You can consider it any currencies. It can be an INR or dollar or dirhams, whatever it is. So let me just explain it to you, okay? So there is a two scenarios here. One is manual dialing. The other one is predictive dialing, okay? So these are the two centers with one center with manual predictive. So number of agents, 30 equal agents, 30 agents, 30 agents. Number of calls dialed per agent. There is a huge difference because in the manual dialing, they are dialing manually, okay? You have a lot of wastage. The predictive dialing, the software is dialing, the dialer is dialing, and you are able to dial more numbers. So it is 150 in manual, 450 in predictive dialing there's a huge difference so now assume that in a typical scenario in a call center the industry standard is that 20 percent contactability simply means if you dial 100 numbers 20 numbers you will be able to contact right that is how it works that's industry standard so with that ratio in a manual dialing you are able to contact 30 people it's a day shift okay eight hour shift which we are considering 30 people and in a predictive dialing you will be able to talk to 90 people okay you can see the difference from 9 30 to 90 with the predictive dialing 
So now what we told 30 agents, right? Eight hour shift, 30 agents. For 30 agents, how many, right? Your entire call center with manual dialing with 30 agents, the entire day you will be able to contact 900 people, 900 customers. But with the predictive dialing, with the same strength, agent strength, same same time, eight hours, you will be able to contact 2,700 customers, right? The simple logic, the more you contact, the more business you achieve. 900 and 2700 now let us also put a sales conversion so the industry standard sales conversion in call center is five percent right five percent so you convert when when i say sales sales uh, you know conversion means you make real business uh, out of it so at five percent in a manual call center 45 business you do with 30 agents in eight hours but in predictive dialing you do 135 business right with Eight hours, same amount of agents. Your cost, your salary cost, your infrastructure, everything remains the same. Just the business changes because you have adopted a predictive dialing. So 45 business, okay, let's give a value to this business. Per business gives you 2000 bucks, right? The bucks can be anything. So 2000 bucks. So 2000 bucks with 2000 bucks per business with manual dialing, you are able to generate 90,000 worth okay rupees uh, 90000 rupees business but in contact centers with predictive dialing you are able to generate 270000 right so from 90000 to 270000 all right so you can see that is a 300% growth and better roi so by using predictive dialing you, you know exponentially increase your business uh, uh, growth okay so i recommend we have seen many of, uh, not many, few of our customers, though they are using call center uh, solution uh, from us, but still they rely on manual dialing or a progressive dialing. There can be processes which has to go with manual or progressive, but if possible, you are into that type of process where you have to do um, uh, contact maximum people, accordingly you generate your business, please shift to the predictive dialing and increase your business many fold threefold okay hope you are able to grasp this feature and how it can add value to your business please recommend this to your uh, partners and customers uh, yes uh, we move on to the next feature okay let me not ask the question further uh, uh, so method of call monitoring right so method of call monitoring you know in call center the call monitoring is very very important so what is call monitoring so call monitoring means monitoring your agents calls right so in any call center there are three types of call monitoring i'm sure that our participants are aware about this but i'm just explaining how it is used where it is used and when it is used and what benefit you can derive from these features right so there are three types of there are three types of uh, uh, call monitoring you have listening whispering and barging so what is listening so listening means you listen to the conversation but the both the parties the customer and agent may not be knowing or may not know that the somebody is listening there are multiple reasons why the listening you should do uh, the call center managers will do the listening the one reason is that if if the if the agent if the agent is a, a new joinee he is under training so the manager wanted to know that what this guy is talking or you have certain scenarios where the agents are over committing to win the cases they just wanted to listen what this guy is talking or what customer giving the feedback right this thing can be used there the whispering so whispering is another another feature where the manager can talk to the agent but customer cannot hear it hope you're you're able to you know follow me in whisper you are talking the manager can talk to the agent but the customer will not hear it so the whisper feature is used in a negotiation scenario there is a very good negotiation is going on the manager can come in to help his agent right he can tell you talk this you give this person discount but customer cannot hear it one scenario it also can be used in training right when the the training on the job training happens the manager can assist through whisper their agents so the whisper is another beautiful feature bargain so in the bargain what happens is that as the as the term uh, means um, the uh, the bargain means you become part of the conversation, right? So here, both the parties are aware that somebody has joined the conversation and they can hear each other and they can talk each other. So bargain also is required uh, for multiple uh, purposes, right? To close a deal or, you know, for escalations, whatever uh, reasons it is. So 
So these are the three features. The beauty is that all these three, three features are available by default with our call center solutions at your disposal. You have to just, just configure it. If you are not already using it, you can just configure it and start using it. It's an admin feature available for admin logins for managers. Okay. Hope uh, this feature is clear to you. Uh, we, we move on. In case is any disturbance, my voice, please uh, you know, intimate me so that I can correct myself. So we move on. Otherwise, uh, the next feature is ownership and sticky agent. OK, so what is it? I'm sure that many of our uh, participants are aware what is a sticky agent. OK, and uh, maybe you may confuse. Is it both are saying you know, ownership and sticky agent? Yes, it is almost similar, but the scenario it is used is different. So let me just explain. And uh, and uh, then let me also explain why this feature is very, very important, right? And this is by default available with our call center solution. So account ownership, okay, the major difference between this ownership and sticky agent is that ownership is mainly in the outbound scenario. Sticky agent is mainly in the inbound scenario, okay? So account ownership, so you can, so okay. So the account ownership in the, uh, in the outbound scenario, this is very unique feature because I have not seen many call centers uh, brands which has got this uh, this ownership feature in the outbound. There are many companies which has got sticky agent for inbound, but in outbound predictive dialing, assume that you are doing a predictive dialing, which you know we have explained recently, and predictive dialing, and you have assigned your leads to particular agents, right? And you are very particular that even though the system is dialing the calls, once it is answered, it has to be given to this particular agent. So this can be achieved through a customization which we have done. So when we upload the set of numbers and you, you have the option in the field, in the lead field, where you can enter the agent details, right? Agent name or agent ID, whatever it is. So based on that, whenever the predictive dialing happens and call get connects, it cross checks which agent this call, uh, this customer belongs to, and it checks the priority of that agent. If that is agent is available, then it, gives the priority. If that agent is not available, it can select the second priority or it can drop the call or it can connect any agent. But it always gives priority to the account owner if he's available. So account ownership in the outbound scenario, the sticky agent. So the sticky agent is the inbound scenario. That means a particular customer, whenever he calls, the call will lance to this particular agent. That is one option. The other option is that, see, normally what happens when we call a call center, for example, uh, a service provider, MTN. So I'm, I'm calling a MTN uh, and my call ownership, what is the sticky agent? Account ownership is used in the outbound scenario and sticky agent is used in the uh, inbound scenario. Okay. It simply means the call will be routed to the allocated agent to avoid customer dissatisfaction. Right. This is very useful feature. We can see whenever we call any customer support center, many times if you call disconnects and you wanted to reach the same agent, impossible. Right. I uh, hope my screen is visible now. Yes. My screen is visible. Yes. 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 Okay. So it is in, it is impossible to connect to the same agent. And uh, so by using account ownership or sticky agent, you can connect to the same agent. So which will help the companies to, uh, you know, cook in its process, better customer handling and better customer satisfaction. Okay. So uh, please check whether you are using or your part, your customers are using these features or if you are pitching to a new customer, please introduce uh, or uh, introduce this feature, which will be a uh, USP. Uh, you know in your sales pitch now uh, agent whatsapp chat window i think people will get confused when i say agent you know multiple places we are talking about chat integration whatsapp integration all these things uh, those who have joined our webinar uh, i think few months back where we have covered a complete omni channel uh, solution we extensively spoke about uh, the whatsapp integration but here there is something different. So when we launched that product, a lot of customers have come back and told, we are already using your call center solution, which is a VC dial, is, that's the application which we use. Can we have a chat WhatsApp integration in that application, right? Because the omni-channel is a separate uh, product altogether, where you have a lot of other things. You can integrate with Instagram, you know, the Facebook, a lot of things you can do. 
but whatsapp is very prominent in business today a lot of businesses are started using or almost all the businesses have started using so they they have come and asked whether we can we can start using uh, whatsapp within our call center solution so with this we have integrated now the whatsapp with our contact center solution if you can see my screen i hope you can see my screen uh, somebody can say yes if you can see my screen yes sir yes sir oh, okay yes. thank you thank you uh, so this is the agent screen so next to agent screen within the agent screen okay this is not a separate uh, uh, page or something like that within the agent screen you have uh, a window where agent can click and start initiating a whatsapp chat with a customer right so uh, and to to have a whatsapp uh, uh, integration it's a whatsapp api integration it is not that web whatsapp integration it's a back end integration which with whatsapp api right it's a transactional you can have both the way communications okay and this chat message message will get saved for future reference so whenever there is a customer call lands to you and if there is already a whatsapp chat with that customer that also appears here right so you can uh, start chatting from here right then if chat is not there you can search the number from the database and initiate a whatsapp messaging from here so this is a very useful feature which is available now with our uh, uh, call center solution as an add on module okay so those who are using our call center solution and wish to integrate a whatsapp with that okay recently we have been discussing with many customers those who are willing to implement the solution few have already implemented uh, this whatsapp integration with the call center so this feature is readily available for you to use it okay so hope uh, the whatsapp integration with call center solution is clear to all of you uh, as we have mentioned in the in the beginning of the webinar if you have any questions or any queries please uh, put that in the uh, chat uh option you can put that question we will be attending that in the question answer session because uh during this webinar you know we will be you know continuously speaking and explaining things you need not have to keep your questions in your mind you can put it in the chat yeah so uh, we move on uh, so we are talking about chat we are talking about whatsapp chat integration now Uh, those who have seen our agent screen uh, on the agent screen you have two more other items right that the same agent screen you can see here you have a script then you have email chat internal and chat customer right so uh, i think many of our customer will come and ask what is this can we use it okay is it possible to use it yes so the, the answer is that yes the contact center has got inbuilt email chat internal internal meet between the agents and chat with the customer okay these are very useful features okay let me let me explain how it is how it works okay so now now you see this is a call center solution and uh, in the call center the main job is is to make and receive calls right but at the same time there are centers where they manage customer support or interactions over a email or a, or a chat right so that is what email and chat so now for example you are a call center and you have a customer support center where customer also reaches you over an email and you wanted to allocate this email to your uh, respective uh, um, agents and they they will resolve those questions so in such scenarios you can use this email so this email will be configured and any email coming to that email id will be queued okay in the contact center solution and based on the agent availability this email will be routed to them okay the same way so it has a chat engine which can be configured with your web platform it can be your website or any other web interfaces or you know web spaces which you have you can configure it anybody coming through that chat okay for a support or a, for a resolution those chats will be queued in and routed to the available agent so here one thing which you have to keep in mind is that it is not that you can keep chat and attend calls it's not like that so when a agent logs in okay so you will select options so if i am i am authorized to attend only calls i select only calls if i am authorized to have call and email i will select both or all the three i will select so if i have selected all the three that means whichever in the queue will be routed to me for example there is a call waiting okay there is a call in the queue that i am available as an agent the call will come to me so then chat and email will not come to me 
because chat and email also will go to the next available agents right so i am attending a call i am busy so once i dispose the call end the call i am available that time what is away what is in the queue it can be it's not a call next is what is in the queue is on priority is an email so that email will come to me so i will attend that email respond to the customer and i will dispose that email so each of this interactions has to be disposed for you to get the next interaction i hope i'm i'm making clear okay so it works exactly like a like how you handle calls in the call center right you get the calls based on the queues you get the email based on the queues and dispose end each of this interaction you get the new interactions okay so this chat and email integration is very useful uh, for many call centers with a similar processes yeah you are uh, it is by default available features you can get it configured and start using it okay so now uh, let me let me move to the next feature that is missed call callback i think majority of you aware of what is missed call callback uh, this is a request from our customers so there are a lot of calls missed in a call center due to multiple reasons right um, yeah there can be non availability of the agent or queue time is too high or it can be some congestion so there will be missed calls right it is not always optimum that 100% calls can get answered by the agents so when such missed call happens so normally what happens there is a missed call you have to go in the back end pull out those missed call report and call back right so it is it gives a delay now we have a beautiful option where you have missed calls those missed calls will get appeared in front of the agent screen for example you can see in the red here there's a one missed call so if you have 10 missed call you will get 10 missed call this 10 missed call will be shown or to all the agents okay all the agent screen right so now as an agent uh, i am an agent so i am available i don't have a call now so i can initiate a call back to this missed calls so i just have to click here dial so the call will get dialed back okay now what happens assume that 10 missed calls so i attend one call that means it becomes nine so everybody else's screen also it get reduced so the beauty of this is that this missed call will get distributed across all the agents and whomever is available they can initiate this callbacks so this will help the company in multiple way one is you can keep your agents engaged there can be some delays when there is there are you know inbound or outbound calls so what happens is that in such delays the agents can initiate the agent can initiate the outbound missed calls right and also uh, it will also improve the customer uh, satisfaction or customer um, you know uh, happiness right because you miss the call uh, but you are getting a call back right so both the way it helps uh, for the companies so this feature is by default available with our call center solution and you can start using it without any uh, no any additional cost or any additional efforts of course it has to be if it is not already uh, available we may have to configure it which our readily available technical people will uh, you know help you to configure we we move to the next feature uh, web rtc integration right so now uh, what is web rtc integration so web rtc means it's voice over web it simply means a voice over web so now those who are aware with our call center solution uh, there is there is a there is a agent screen okay there is an agent login before that you have to have a soft phone registered right you have a soft phone configured and when you log in you get an incoming call to your soft phone you have to answer that then the line will get established and you are ready to make or receive calls so there are a lot of complications in this process right you have a two applications one is the agent a, agent screen the other one is this soft phone there can be mishaps that sometimes the soft phone will get disconnected then you know you are not able to make calls and you understand oh my soft phone is disconnected after some time which is a waste of time and sometimes it also happens that you cannot use in a company the the, the free uh, open uh, soft phones available you have to buy a licensed one a soft phone licensed one will cost 50 to 60 dollars so there is a huge uh, money to be paid for the license fee right so now we have come up with a very uh, very advanced about but is is the new generation you know uh, voice application so the contact center the call center is integrated with web rtc so now as you see in the picture you do not have to have a soft soft phone configured right 
you are an agent you can directly go to the agent login enter your credentials and just log in this phone will appear within the agent screen you will automatically get connected there is no hassles right it is completely as a free there is no complications in the process a simple login directly connects you with the contact center server okay so this has got lot of you know benefits like you know you don't waste time disconnecting or connecting or registering re-registering your soft phone you don't spend money on your soft phone this also helps you a simple login easy connectivity and nowadays you know because of the new technology the improved call quality or voice clarity everything will be there so this we call it as ast phone the webrtc integration this module is available with all the new installations if you don't have this feature available with uh, you please reach out to us uh, because this is available with the new versions if you are already using a old version then we may have to do an upgradation but the point is that this is available now to be used please get the benefit out of it uh, we move on uh, the next is csat or customer satisfaction survey see now uh, uh, in the market uh, the customer satisfaction is is a buzzword right because in this competitive market is very important that you keep your customers happy so there are companies itself only to do like something called you know survey monkey i i know one company so their only job is to do this customer satisfaction surveys but how many of you are aware that our call center solution has got an inbuilt customer satisfaction survey you know uh, application or, or or configuration which you can do so those who are using our call center solution you can uh, configure a beautiful multi level customer satisfaction survey right so it is the survey is configured it's simple ivr and you know a dtmf method you configure set of multi level questions and get the input through a dtmf input right but there are two types of survey which you can conduct with our call center solution one is the live you know uh, uh, call transfer right live call transfer to csat or customer satisfaction survey uh, what does it mean okay so now you are a company you are dealing with a particular product and you wanted to you wanted to get the feedback of your uh, customer how they well they are happy interacting with uh, your uh, support center right support agents so you can put a beautiful questions ideal questions not be 10 questions customer will disconnect and you know go out you can have okay you have interacted with so and so uh, uh, person uh, if you are happy with your uh, interaction please rating one being the best and five being the worst okay if you got this resolution in a single call please rate so and so so you can create multi level questions with ivr and get the dtmf input now the live call transfer means the agent i am the agent i am talking to the customer and before i end the call i tell the customer sir i am transferring your call to a survey customer satisfaction survey ivr please spend 10 seconds and leave your feedback which will help us to improve better our service so okay you transfer the call to the customer and customer leaves the message and exit the call so that is what live call transfer to csat ivr okay so that is one option the second option is that a scheduled feedback call right what does it mean so okay so you need not have to transfer live to uh, the feedback ivr instead you can schedule so after the interaction customer has to be called back after 24 hours for example after 24 hours okay so you configure an ivr feedback ivr put the dtmf and configure it and set it so automatically a customer is interacted today this time after 24 hours he will get a call back once he receives the call it will announce this is a call back for the customer feedback survey uh, feedback message with your interaction with so and so agent if you are happy please rate so and so so and so right so this is what scheduled feedback call yeah scheduled feedback ivr call or scheduled customer satisfaction survey here it will happen in a scheduled format and end of the day you can generate a beautiful mis report where you can see your weekly monthly quarterly yearly customer satisfaction grading based on that it will help you to make changes or take decisions in your call center solution uh, hope the feature is very clear which is by default available everybody can start using it see that we move on okay so uh, as i mentioned today itself in our this webinar we have people joining from 20 plus countries 
So one request which we used to get is that whether our solution supports multi-language. Okay, so there is a good news. Okay, uh, there can be a bad news also. All the languages are not available, but let me tell you proudly that our contact center solution supports 23 languages, right? When I say 23 languages, 16 languages in the agent screens. That means you can have agent screens in 16 languages and the administrator screen, the admin module or admin screen, you can have it in seven languages. Okay, the totally 23 languages. So when I say agent screen in uh, uh, 16 languages, it's mainly uh, there are languages listed here. Let me just not you know, spend time on reading out it, but almost all the main languages. Uh, so this is, see, you know, the Visidal is an open source evolving community. There will be more languages, you know, keep adding. If it is not available, you know, it will get added very soon, very, very soon. So these are the available uh, languages. The admin languages, English, Greek, French, German, all the Spanish, Italian, all these languages are available. So just for your info, so if you prefer any of the language, please convert it and start using it. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, moving on gamification, right? OK, um, I think I'm sure that many of you might be aware what is gamification. So gamification is a another buzzword in the market. There are a lot of companies. It can be in a website. It can be in an app. It can be uh, in a in a in a in a office a space. There are a lot of games gamification. The purpose of gamification is that to motivate uh, the uh, and uh, motivate and challenge the employees, right? Uh, or customers, right? Not only employees, customers. See, for example, uh, I think those who are from from India and using an app called Cred Cred app, it has got a lot of games inside, and you can win trophies, right? So they conduct games, you know, intellectual games or fun games, and you get trophies and rewards, right? So the gamification is a buzzword, and <clears throat> in call center also you can do gamification. When I say call center, does not mean that on the call center floor with the people, our contact center solution can give you a gamification tool, right? How it is, right? So let me let me explain how you can do gamification with our call center solution because, uh, okay, so you can do this gamification in two ways, okay? One is agent gamification, the other one is customer gamification. So what is agent gamification? Right. So when I say gamification, you have to think with our call center solution within our. So what is the agent's job? He comes and logs into the contact center solution and start making or receiving calls. And he takes break in between. Right. That is his job routine. If it is eight or eight hour or nine hour um, uh, job, this is how it, it its routine looks like. Now, what we can do to uh, you know gamify this time. Right. So now. So as an agent, when I log in, one option is that as an agent, when I log in, the system can throw you certain questions, a multi, you know, uh, uh, multiple choice questions, for example, or, you know, two choice questions, whatever it is. OK, so it can give you some these questions can be a funny questions. It questions can be related to your company. Questions can be related to a market, related to a training which you have done recently, related to a colleague. It can be multiple things, right? And you have the, okay, it gives you three questions when you log in and you answer it, right? And you go for a break and comes back when you again resume, it can give you further questions. So you can, it can keep you engaged and you give answers and based on weekly or monthly, the winners will get a trophy, right? The winners will get a trophy. So those, you know, this way, this is one of the options, the multiple ways it can be done. OK, it can be a voice message can be passed. So you can do multiple activities, multiple such funny activities to gamify your entire, you know, the agent interactions and give them rewards based on that. So it is possible with our call center solution. The same way you can also do customer gamification. So now what is customer gamification? A customer just comes a small interaction and he disappears. But sometimes what happens, the customer have to wait a long time in the queue, right? So we can utilize that time to make it little more uh, you know, beautiful through different gamification strategies, right? It can be a general question. So you can announce that, sir, we will. Now, as you wait in the queue, instead of paying simple music, da, 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 you can put some beautiful you know, games, maybe a question answer games, right? So you ask few questions. You ask few questions 
then customer will give the answer and you can reward the customer also right you can reward the customer in multiple ways you give them certain points which he can redeem it maybe maybe extension of his sla so he is waiting in the queue and he's participating he's utilizing that time to participate in something and he's getting rewarded right so it will be a good experience both for the agent and customers so the gamification is a new thing in the market and a lot of companies have started doing it our content has got the features of gamification features available with it so it is open for all you to uh, explore those feature uh, i hope uh, it is clear to all of you it makes sense uh, let us move to the uh, next uh, uh, features uh, okay so just to remind if you have any doubts of any of the features which we are explaining or you wanted to know more about it please leave your questions in the comment we will be attending to that okay so number the next one is that q drop callback okay what is q drop callback okay so don't confuse between dropped call callback okay which i explained a few slides uh, earlier but uh, q drop callback is a very interesting feature okay so let me just allows customer to drop the calls in the queue with the guarantee that he will be called back once his queue position reaches the next available agent is it clear it simply means let me explain with an example it simply means you are in a queue okay uh, you are 10th in the queue right so you know our system has the capability to uh, announce your uh, queue position you it it will announce that you are 10th in the queue or your call will be answered in next uh, 10 minutes or or 20 minutes uh, you know based on the you know, average call handling time so you are 10th in the in the in the call right uh, in the queue so now Uh, you can if you wait to get your call answered you may have to wait almost 30 minutes or 45 minutes based on average call handling time so now you can announce to the customer that you are 10th in the queue if you wish to get a call back okay as soon as you reach the next available agent please press 1 so he presses 1 he drops so he he was 10th in the call 10th uh, in the queue so we are asking him to drop but it is not that he will be called back next day or he will be forgotten to call back ever right and that's normally what happens with uh, uh, you know other call centers but here we are guaranteeing him once his position reaches the one the first the next available agent the system will automatically call him and connects him back and connects the customer right so you need not have to wait uh, you know uh, 9 8 7 nothing like that he just drops it and once is position reaches the next available agent the system will call in and connect which is a very it's a very simple feature but very helpful to keep customers you know engaged and satisfied right they don't you know when they get a call and you know they and it saves a lot of time for the customers and it also saves a lot of channel the call channels for the company as well okay hope uh, the feature is clear to you all then the next one is monitored break these are small small features uh, but very impactful features that's why we are trying to explain these features the monitored break so what is monitored break so now in a call center uh, see you know the call center is a very process oriented you have to check in at this time check out at that time and within this 8 hours or 9 hours you have to do this many things you can take this much break you can take this much uh, you know a lunch time so the everything is very well set but of course the agents also are equally intelligent that they wanted to bypass they wanted to take everything little more right everything you know strict little less okay so how do we monitor this right so there is the maximum issue happens in the break okay they go for a break right uh, they go for a tea break you go they you go for a lunch break training break smoke break you know multiple things the multiple breaks and they come back very late so now the monitored break means so whenever you go for a break okay it has to be approved by your manager right so when the manager approves it the manager is aware that this guy has gone for a break and he has to come back within this time so if there is any deviations once without you cannot take a break without manager's approval that itself is a monitored break and in case you take a break and you don't come report on time again you have to uh, get the permission to relog in right so if you have gone for a smoke and supposed to have 5 minutes you you took two you know puffs uh, two smoke and you you know you spent 10 minutes and you are coming back after 10 minutes you are unable to log in because you have to get 
uh, approval from your manager and you have to give the reason why you are late right so that is what the monitored break means can we move on okay uh, the next is dnc approval okay so what is dnc approval so dnc approval simply means uh, okay so in a call center uh, when you talk to the customer customer will say no don't ever call me back okay my number is in dnc or if the customer itself will tell don't don't ever call me back i will file a complaint i don't want you are disturbing me so in such calls the agent has the option to put it in the dnc so do not call right it's, it's do not call so see agent can put the you know dnc at their discretion right nobody to track them but there can be mistakes right the agent based on his mood he can put dnc 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 but company don't want to uh, you know happen you know that to happen because this each of these numbers are procured with a cost so now the manager can okay the agent can put the dnc status but manager can recheck with the conversation and approve these dncs and if found that you know it is not a dnc the agent by default mistake or uh, by intention put it put it as a dnc then he can disapprove it so it will not go to the dnc once a number is in dnc the the call center cannot call him again because it will cross check if it is dnc it reject the call okay so that is what dnc approval means okay the next feature is very interesting star of the month okay so now you know the entire call center you know it works on multiple you know motivations and appraisals all these things will happen in the call center so now our call center has an option where you can publish the star of the month on the agent screen for example you have a policy that every year okay you know every uh, sorry not every year every month you know you have to announce a star of the month and everybody there are multiple way you can um, you know congratulate a star of the month right you can call in on the floor and appreciate him on the stage or send a an email multiple things can be a put a photo on the notice board multiple things can be done multiple companies follows multiple methods to appreciate the star of the month but with the call center solution because these agents are in front of the you know computer and agent screen most of the time you can publish the star of the month photo on the agent screen of all the agents so all the agents will get the photo of the star of the month in front of uh, is uh, you know uh, in front of his agent screen whenever he logs in right so it can it can it can motivate others okay this guy okay next time i want to be there so everybody can see him all right so he will be the star of the month until the next person earns it okay so you can so please keep it in mind okay carry this understanding that you can publish star of the month uh, through to the agent screen okay for a for a given period of time okay uh, uh without uh, any additional uh, effort okay so you can start using those features okay so now the next is asked monitor uh asked monitor we have covered multiple times why we are repeating this is that this is one of the beautiful feature and which is not available with i have not seen any other uh, contact center solution which has got a mobile app only for monitoring purpose right so this is a beautiful feature very powerful feature which you can recently we have done certain enhancement on this so this is an app okay which you can download on your smartphone configure it so wherever you go you will get a real time stat of your call center on your mobile okay the app can be opened where you can see the agents are logged in agents are in call agents are post it also has a drill down feature where you can okay agents on call so you click you can see each agent details you click them the a particular agent again it drills down to and show how many calls he has attended right so this has got the the the, the real time dashboard and the drill down options so this is a feature which you can use uh, and convenient to monitor your call center wherever you are right so uh, the in this period where people work from different locations these are very very important mobility features that's why we are covering again and this is a free feature free app download it configure it and start using it okay so this is the you know the the the, the last one it was lengthy session lot of small small features but powerful features we try to explain uh, this is just to show you that yeah we have set of our uh, dashboards uh, you know recent dashboards uh, the new dashboards for our call center solutions uh, real time screen agent performance screen outbound report inbound reports so this is available this is a new version the new installations are going with these new screens 
which is a very insightful uh, you know decision helping you to make uh, good decisions after looking at this this uh, screens so uh, those who are not using this screens please approach us we will evaluate your system and see how we can upgrade your system to make you available these new features these are customized for all of our customers so please uh, take the advantage of uh, these new things so in short um, we have covered a set of beautiful features many of the features are you are aware many of the features you are not aware many of the features though you are aware you are not aware how impactful it can be right we have covered the uh, the voice uh, 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 audio agent audio board we have covered predictive dialing we have covered uh, as dial we have covered monitored break we have covered how predictive dialing can improve your business up to 300% okay so a set of beautiful features we have covered i hope uh, you all will remember these features and you will start using it or start talking to your customers about these features so thank you so much uh, now the floor is open for your question answers uh, firdaus will help us to you uh, know interact with uh, um you know uh, the uh, inter, uh, no read out your questions and based on our expert team we also have a technical and uh, 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 team also is available to answer your questions you have more questions um, yeah prefer those over to you yes thank you so much mr binish for a wonderful presentations and uh, taking us through all the features of the call center solution which will make the call center more efficient so we have a few questions coming out from the participants and uh, i will be uh, reading out uh, one uh, one to one questions which we can attend one by one so uh, uh, the first one second question, there yes sir uh if we could remove that screen sharing we can have sir uh, it is button. already down yeah oh, so yeah uh, before uh, starting with the questions i would request again remind all our participants if you have any further question please put it in the chat box or raise your hand or just put on your video and unmute yourself so that we can uh, have one to one discussions so moving to the first questions the first question has come from mr Sukhvinder Singh uh, he wants to know more on the IVR solution and also uh, his second question is uh, can the whatsapp uh, fetch the data of the customers like account details and send as a file to customer uh, uh i think for those you have to read again uh, yeah the the first question is he wants to know more about the IVR solution okay okay uh, the second question is can the whatsapp uh, fax the data of the customer like account details and send as a file to customer okay the question is asked by uh, sukhinder sukhinder yeah 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 hi sukhinder uh, uh, hi to you uh, i don't know whether you are there if you can see it would be nice so to answer your question yes um, so the ivr solution okay you wanted to know more about ivr solution uh, no, yeah no, hi hi Yes. yes thank you thank you yes. uh, okay so the uh, see the ivr solution yes our solution our contact center and ip pbx solution has got inbuilt ivr solutions so there is a you know people will normally get confused between ivr and an auto attendant right so and it's a common scenario a auto attendant means it just attends and routes your call and ivr means it means interactive voice response it can have certain interactions that mean that means we can do a certain level of automation that's what you are asking can it be uh, can it fetch you know customer details from uh, your database and announce yes the ivr can do the interactive ivr can do our ivr can do we can integrate with multiple databases for example uh, you know uh, if you are a if you are a courier company okay the so customers are calling it will ask enter your tracking uh, id so you enter your tracking id it validates your tracking id then it it announces the status of your tracking okay it is in transit it is in custom it is delivered out for delivery automatically within ivr right that is what i think we mean integrating with your database so to subject so the uh, uh, okay uh, the both is possible uh, the integrated ivr through integrated ivr you can fetch data of customer or account details from the database and i think uh, he uh, sukhinder also wants to know if 
the whatsapp part yes it can be ah, sent okay. as a voice file whatsapp so, can yeah. yeah surely the whatsapp integration say for example we if we talk to the customer and uh, okay. yes mr sukender please yeah sukender please uh, you can explain it or maybe i can tell the whatsapp part see the whatsapp yeah, yeah. for example it is possible that once a customer has uh, we finish the discussion with the customer and uh, do the disposition the the whatsapp integration can collect some data or some file or some information and send it to that particular customer uh, we can send it to the customer as a file as information all those things are possible if sukinder is so, there maybe you can explain yeah. what i just want to know excuse just just Yes, Mr. Subhendra, please. Just know whether uh, the customer. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, I'm just. Uh, uh, I just want to know whether a customer a database or a file of customer can display on his WhatsApp number or the chatting while he's, for example, he's calling the. Huh? He's, uh, I won't know that. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I think the I voice think is lagging. Yeah, uh, so, 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 maybe you, you can uh, type it on the chat or something. It is breaking very much. I think I, it's not. Or Vinish, did you understand what? Sir, no, no, uh, no, no. I think it is finished. Yeah. Sir, Dana here. I think he wants to uh, uh, like a uh, uh, status of the customer. So it's like a uh, querying the WhatsApp that uh, this numbers uh, further detail. Or he has a number, a name, and you want to get his mobile number the, using a WhatsApp API, something like that. Is it the same, Mr. Subsender, which you are yeah, yeah, you want? Uh, can I repeat my question? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, my basic question is, for example, please, yeah, everyone is using WhatsApp. Everyone is. Using WhatsApp, so if a customer uh, he writes out, so would he be idea to put back there? Uh, uh, so so uh, like so uh, we cannot hear you. We have identified it on the WhatsApp. Uh, yeah, I is think uh, it, it is not clear to us. I think uh, we may have to take it offline, sir, because it's not clear. Your voice is breaking very badly. Uh, sorry, but we will call you back soon after this webinar. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, move on to the second question. The second question okay. is from Mr. You can... Sir, your voice is breaking. It's breaking badly, so we cannot make sense. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Okay. So we will be on the phone later. On. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the next question is from Mr. Madhukar. Uh, he wants to know: Can a chat, email, what, uh, WhatsApp are inbuilt features in the call center solutions? Uh, yes, uh, it is inbuilt with our chat, email, and WhatsApp uh, is in, uh, is inbuilt features of our call center. But there are certain prerequisites. Okay, certain integrations required. For example, WhatsApp. You need to have WhatsApp API, and there is a WhatsApp integration effort. Right. When it comes to the cost side, there will be a, a small integration cost for uh, these features based on the effort, especially in the case of WhatsApp. But on a on a feature perspective, these are inbuilt features. Uh, you don't have to pay anything for the feature. Only for integration and API efforts, you may have to. Uh, there can be some cost. Okay. Uh, the second question, next question is for Mr. Akash. Uh, he wants to know. We are having a query about the IVR. When the normal agents are calling with unsubscribed countries through the uh, through our SIP account, they are getting an IVR or call response. You have not subscribed for these countries. Also, when having a low balance, also get intimated by agents. Can we customize this IVR for agents? Uh, because he, uh, we don't want to show this IVR on call to the agent ends. I hope the you uh, mm -hmm. understand uh, the questions being yes. and yeah. 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 I think uh, Mr. Uh, Nithin and uh, uh, Mr. Dhana, can you please join on this discussion? Yeah, yeah. See, uh, looks like uh, this announcement is coming from the provider, uh, VoIP provider. Okay, so 
we may not have a, a control over their network or their switch side okay so these are the uh, messages played from the switch that where we have terminating our calls okay so uh, if we act like a switch we can control it but we terminate through a third party uh, server we have to request them to disable it see technically it's possible to disable it but it's a, it's a based on uh, who's handling the termination switch i hope mr uh, akash your question is answered or if you are online you can just put on your video so that we can continue the discussion if you have a further query it's uh, hi good afternoon good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, yeah yeah am i audible yes yes yes, yes. Uh, so basically what happened um, when the uh, agents are dialing and we, if we have a low balance they are getting intimated if you have low balance so we don't want to show that uh, particular ivr to agent level so can we disable it or uh, we can customize it yeah uh, can i hear see uh, this prompt okay it is uh, not uh, played from our system itself okay okay so it is a uh, uh, played by our uh, from where you are uh, terminating your calls okay assume you buy sip uh, account from uh, airtel or vodafone some other provider okay and they have a, a set of uh, policies okay if you have been subscribed they play this message to the uh, dial the party and you have a low volume just before connecting they play so this these messages played from the provider side okay not from Uh, dialogue. Okay. Okay. So uh, we may not have a control. Okay. Okay. You meant to say we can use that uh, agents are waiting that I will continue. We can't do anything on our end. See. See. Uh, okay. So uh, we have. It is like uh, they do manual call, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. See, what we can do is uh, instead you don't want to uh, play any of this message. Uh, we have option like a uh, uh, dialer itself generates ring okay so okay. they will not hear customer uh, this announcement until call gets connected there is option we can enable it but it becomes a uh, common means uh, uh, we will not know is it really ringing not ringing that information okay so all the time customer gets a same, means uh, agent gets the same ring pattern okay so it is a asterisk generated ring tone to the agent okay, okay. assume assume uh, a customer as a, some uh, color tune music plays okay or okay. a different ring tone okay. uh, those information will not be heard by agent okay all the time he gets only flat ring which is generated from uh, dialer uh, uh, asterisk itself so when we try this way it, we can avoid it but uh, uh, not sure uh, 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 what time they will play means uh, some time they announce this message just after the answer and then they play and then they connect something like that so when they do this way we will not we will have to uh, skip this one just before ringing if they try means wait if they uh, announce it we can skip it. there is option okay okay so we have an option to skip this or this yeah it is yeah. a Yeah, yeah, it is a, a, a dial pattern. We can change. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Dhanu. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Dhanu. Uh, okay, let's move to the next question. The next question is also from Mr. Sukhjinder. Uh, he wants to know: Can we get the input report from IDEA? Okay. And, yeah. yeah. In the Yeah. To answer that, yes, you can. Of course, definitely, you need to get uh, the. We, you will get the uh, input report from the IVR. So that is what the MIS report is. So all the inputs the customer gives through the IVR, you can uh, get it as a report, uh, and you can use it for your, you uh, know, processing purpose. Yeah. Uh, his second question is: uh, Can we block the customer uh, uh, according to the in IVR report? Yeah. So if that is the requirement, yes. You know, you can you can block the customer also based on the IVR input. It's possible. Okay. Uh, the next question has come from Mr. Abulia. Uh, uh, did the soundboard have any limitations for the number of voice files or a voice file size? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Tana. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Amulya, there is no uh, limitation on uh, voice file or the size, but we recommend to uh, keep a minimum so that the agent page will be lighter. Okay, thank you, Dana. Yeah. Thank you, Dana. Uh, the next question is from Mr. Siddharth. Mr. Siddharth say asking why should we always reset the calling list by means of deleting or uh, and re-importing the contacts and their numbers once the dialer dial last number in the list. Yeah, I think you see, uh, uh, I don't know uh, what type of uh, application you are using it. Okay, in case if you are using a, a DC dial, okay, you no need to delete the uh, list, whatever you have uploaded. Okay, you can, uh, there is a two way you can uh, recycle it. One, you go to the list, uh, reset the lead call status, and then you can start using it. Uh, other way, in campaign, you have option to uh, auto recycle leads based on the statuses. And uh, no need to uh, delete it and then import it again. So, if you can tell what type of application you are using, we can. Uh, uh, Mr. Siddharth, are you offline? You can uh, put on the unmute and uh, if you have further query or if you let us know what is the application you are using. I think it's. That is available. Uh, Siddharth. Okay. Mr. Siddharth, are you available? So okay. Send the message. Call me later. Uh, oh, call me later. Okay. okay. Uh, the next question is from Mr. Nizhar. Uh, he asks, uh, do we need any customization required for lead ownership for the outbound calls? Yeah, maybe Dana? Yes, it's a customized module. It's not an inbuilt one. We have to. Yeah, so to answer Nizhar, yes, you require a small customization. It's a customized module, uh, so you need uh, a customization to bring the ownership for outbound calls. Okay. The next question is from Mr. Siddharth again. In the outbound calling, is there an option which allow us to assign at least to more than one person and forward the human answer question to the person who is idle? In inbound calling, is there an option which allows us to assign a list to more than one person and forward the human answer calls to the person who is idle? Uh, no, it looks like, uh, sorry, Dana here. See, uh, this is what uh, predictive dialing, right? Means uh, uh, you upload a set of leads and then you have a, 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 some agents logged in, okay? Uh, when connect uh, when any customer answer and it uh, pass it to any available agent this is what a uh, predictive dialing feature right uh, see if, if you can give a uh, uh, clear idea about uh, what application you're using and uh, uh, what you're trying they can explain it better okay maybe he requested to call back later after this presentation after yeah. this webinar so we uh, keep in touch with yeah. him after the webinar uh, the second, the next question is from Mr. Miss Vidya. He asks, is the gamification an add-on module? Um, yeah, so the gamification is actually a, 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 it's not a module as such, but it is a small uh, IVR configuration which we have to do. And uh, accordingly, we need to you know pull out a report, all these things. So there is this config configuration required. Okay, that effort will be there. Otherwise, uh, there is no uh, additional requirement or no module required. So it's just a configuration and uh, a small customization. Okay. Uh, the next is uh, from Mr. Kizito. This Q drop feature is amazing. Thank you so much. I hope uh, he will also advise the customers to start using it the same features. Uh, the next question is uh, from Mr. Victor. Please share the recording uh, for the earliest. At the earliest, sure, Mr. Victor, we will share after the webinar all the recording to all the participants and registrations. So I hope this is the last question and almost all the questions have been attended. Uh, there are a few, one or two minutes with there. Whoever has a further query, you can just, uh, okay. I got one more question from Mr. Arvind. Does the soundboard is added feature um, or is it a customization? 
soundboard is a uh, you know uh, available feature there is no customization required uh, yeah based on the version it is available from a certain version maybe uh, then i can tell from which version onwards it is available so if you are using that available uh, that version it is uh, straight away you can start using it yeah, uh, then, sorry, yeah. Uh, see uh, soundboard is available from uh, 2.13 Considered version. So, okay. if we have a 2.13, you can uh, enable it and start using. Okay. So, uh, if anybody wanted to, uh, you know, explore this option, please reach out to us. We will check the version compatibility. If it's available with your version, if it is available, you can use it. If it's not available, we may recommend you to upgrade to the next version to start using it. Okay, uh, I think we have uh, covered almost all the questions and uh, before wrapping up, uh, if anybody has any further query, you can just unmute yourself or just raise your hand to ask the questions. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I think uh, any yeah. more question? No, I, I don't see any more questions right away. Uh, okay, okay, we can wrap up. Yeah, yeah. Thank you okay. so much once again, the, all the participants. Thank you for taking the time and yeah, joining our webinar. Uh, we will be sharing a recording to all the participants and the registered uh, people. And uh, we will see you soon again with one uh, more uh, next webinar with interesting topics. Till then, uh, take care and bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.